Welcome to Cigar Time, your still ever so friendly show all about premium cigars. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Hello. for having me back, Wink. Yep. I haven't, I'm, it's my first time back in a little. Yeah, well, she was on extended stay in the, uh, the uh, lower continent and uh, tours of Europe and thereabouts. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, especially this time of year when it's cold and windy and exactly. snowy outside. Uh, we're very pleased to have an old friend back for a, a return appearance. Yay. <laughs> Tom Thank McCormick you. from My Father Cigars, the iconic uh, maker of so many different lines, and we sell them all, and they're great sellers. They're great cigars. They are great, great cigars. cigars, and, and, and Tom's going to tell us about a lot of things happening, and sure. maybe some new things happening. Yeah, absolutely. Besides you getting promoted. Always happy to uh, be here. Did you, you get, get your big promotion yet? Did you get promoted? Uh, yeah, now I control all of Philadelphia and the surrounding <laughs> suburbs. <laughs> all of it All now? of me. Wow. Yeah. So no you have like the five counties? Almost no supervision. <laughs> Ooh. Well, 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 you do have a supervisor nice. at home. Of course. Yeah. That was a recent occurrence. Yeah. Yes. He got married. Congratulations. Congrats. Condolences. But I don't, I don't see, <laughs> I don't see the the ring through your nose, <laughs> or is that old fashioned? Yeah, that's a little old fashioned. Okay, uh, as you may have noticed on our uh, elaborate and very expensive table here, uh, we have the My Father gift sets, yes. which year after uh -huh. year are one of our, if not the, top selling gift set. That's correct. It's economical. You get a great bargain. You get a cutter and lighter, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Great it's presentation. A, it's a very yeah. expensive uh -huh. cutter. The <laughs> cutter retails for about, what, $300 or something? Yeah, roughly. Don't forget that DuPont lighter. The DuPont. Well, you can't say DuPont. <laughs> you cannot say that. You can't say DuPont. No, no, you can't say that. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we can say that. <laughs> but that lighter is a very heavy duty one lighter. It lights up go. to 4,000 uh, times, something like that. Minimum. Yeah. And, and the cigars aren't bad. No. The cigars, cigars are very good. good. So well, actually, uh, we're each smoking one of the cigars one that are cigars inside are of in the, the pack. sampler. Sure. Yeah. I'm cheated. I already started. Yeah. I had to get a head start. You guys always beat me. So. Cheater, cheater, cheater. I need like a reason. 20 second head start. <laughs> Never talk while you're trying to <laughs> take, take it. In. Take another hit. <laughs> Okay, uh, one it's day, been a while. One day I'm gonna stick <laughs> I'm gonna stick a hose from a helium balloon and stick it down her throat and listen to her talk afterwards. She should learn how to smoke. Shut up, we're not a smoke. I was talking and smoking. So like chewing gum and walking? walking? No, I could do that. I'm smoking the Centurion. This is a nice cigar. Is this the original Centurion or the <coughs> H2K? Excuse me. That's, that's, the that's the original Centurion. Okay. The H2K is a box press. Mm -hmm. Hence it says H2K. Yes. Yes. So one of the cool things about the sampler pack is that the cigars in here, are each they're actually uh, unique to just this sampler. Okay. So they're all Toros, but they're they're specific to this box. Um, like for really instance, aren't normally available? Well, for instance, the La Antigua is that what you're smoking? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's typically a box press. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Press. that's right. Yeah, it's it's round. Even yeah. the sizes are just slightly, slightly different than the typical Toros. They in look a little line. bigger. Yeah, he said yeah. a little bit different. Yeah. yeah, they're all a little bit different than their than their normal. Well, you know, uh, I did line. not know. So that. you said they no. make these specifically for that box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Each one of these, they're all a little bit different. The Centurion's actually a little thinner mm -hmm. than the than the Toro in the uh, in the regular mm -hmm. Centurion box. It's a like fifty-two mm -hmm. ring gauge. Yeah. And the other one's a 54. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, each one is a little bit different size. From I what, did not know that. You know, like I didn't know you. Each of the papine blends, they're a little thicker. Mm -hmm. These are all 50s and 50 ring gauges in the uh, in their actual box presentation. But here they're 52s. And we don't even carry the JJ, so this one is really nice. That's you my nice favorite cigar this you guys This is one of my favorites. The Series JJ? JJ. The JJ. Yeah. That's a fantastic mm -hmm. cigar. It's very good. It's it's a little more medium, medium plus. It is. A little right. more approachable. Yep. But actually, me smoking this one, it's very pleasant in the beginning. I'm not getting too much spice right now or pepper. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm getting earthy. That's what, that's, I'm, that's yeah, what I'm getting. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a Nicaraguan Corojo with um, Criollo and Corojo fillers. Say that real fast, five times. And it's supposed to have some earth and spice. And right now, I'm getting the earthiness, not the spice yet, which is great. I'm happy about that because yeah. I'm not ready for the spice. I want the spice somewhere in the middle. Yeah, it'll, it'll I like up. to start off slow and sure. then catch up. Yeah. At my age, that's all I can do. <laughs> start off slow. How come no La Duena? The La Duena? In this pack? Yeah. Uh, I don't have an answer for that. Is, she, is the La Duena in any pack? 
sample? No, 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 no. We have uh, that's a full body cigar. That's a kick. Can I say the A S? Kick butt. Is that what you wanted to say? <laughs> kick butt. Yeah, it's a kick, kick, kick butt, butt cigar. It's a great cigar. It's a uh, very good cigar. And I love cigar. the size. It's another too. cigar we don't mm -hmm. carry. We used to carry used the La Duena. Uh, that's a very good cigar. Yeah, but you got to go with the marketplace. The, mar the marketplace dictates what we carry. That's I true. Know. I mean, yeah. we carry so many facings true. from I my know. father. You, you know. can't yeah. carry everything. And it ebbs and flows sometimes. I mean, older models sometimes slow down. Newer models kick butt. Yeah. Uh, you got to go with the flow. Sure, of course. Um, you know, there's a place for everything in the lineup. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't know what... I wish I had a really great answer for you, Rob, on what, what the thought process was for what's in here, you know, but right. You should ask. These are very four, five very core blends. Except when this came out, the Antigua Dab was brand new. Yes. Right. So that was the new, the new one in that. We went with the three originals, which we all love: black, blue, and or yeah. excuse me, yeah. each the uh, Papin Blue label, white mm -hmm. label, Jaime Garcia. That's what I'm smoking. So you've got some of the traditional stuff here. Even the Centurion is one of the older lines yeah. from the yeah. company. I remember when I first came out. It didn't seem that long ago. Yeah. Yeah, the, well, um, what's art smoking? The Jaime Garcia that flies off the shelf. That is one that is one of the most sought after cigars of my it, father. It, it's just a it's funny when, when they first introduced this years ago. It got off to a little bit of a slow start. It, yeah, it didn't yeah. sell at all. Yeah. I thought now, I thought that was new. I didn't know that was no. for a long time. A long time. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. But it, but it, when it first came out, it was a little slow off the shelf. Yeah. But now, it's and you can't yeah, keep you it can't on keep the shelf. It. You can't yeah. keep it in stock. Yeah. Well, we do a pretty good job. We do. We try. <laughs> we sell them by the box. But our Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. That's what it is. It's a great example of what that cigar should be. Yeah. Now, most of all my father and Don Pepin lines are most are strictly Nicaraguan, or or they all we, everything we make features Nicaragua. Okay. So, for instance, some wrappers are different. Mm -hmm. um, the Antiguidad is a good example. The moose is smoking. That's Ecuador and Habano, Rosado, Oscuro. Many, many words. Say that 300 times. Ecuador and Habano, Rosado, Oscuro. Ecuador and Habano, Oscuro. So it's, a, it's a very nice wow. wrapper, but, uh, and then it's over Nicaraguan binders and films. Very tasty. Yeah. I figured you would want that one, moose. What do you got there? The, the Centurion. Uh, Centurion's actually all Nicaraguan. It's Nicaraguan okay. sun-grown wrapper. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, which, which is cool because the, Centurion is a, a full body smoke. I mean, it's got a nice amount of spice to it. We're definitely full bodied. You're using sun grown wrapper, and the other the other cigars that we make with sun grown, namely Flor de Las Antillas, mm, more medium favorite. bodied, complex. Right. right. They both have that spice to it, but they're very different in their they strength. They are very levels. different. Is that I'm still the number one the selling pacing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm definitely getting the spice on this, but it's cutting covering my entire palate as mm -hmm. opposed to directional. It's covering everything. It's very sure. nice. Yeah, it's a it's a. Great it's more smoke. of a white pepper. It's not a it's not a. It's not a, overwhelming. A black pepper. Yeah. yeah. It's very good. Well, why don't we go around the table and get our first impressions of the okay. individual? I just gave one. The, uh, well, I kind of did too, but I'll give mine again. Just repeat it, put a little different spin on it. Okay. <laughs> I go first. All right, you go first. Okay, Lady so. First. Like I said it be, uh, earlier, that it started off very, I want to say mild and not as strong, very earthy, very pleasant. And now I'm getting in a little bit more. It's starting to pick up just slightly, though. So I think by the time I get to the middle, I'm going to really get more of that spice. So I'm trying to hurry up so I can get to the middle. <laughs> power hit that sucker. Yeah, let me power hit it. <laughs> Moose? Right now I'm getting a little floral. And flavor. you're smoking the... Yeah. Yeah. Lion Tigua Dodd. Yeah. Yeah. Lion Tigua Dodd. Dodd. Yeah. I totally agree with that, Moose. <coughs> it's, yeah. And it's very nice. Um, I'm expecting something else as I get along into it, but right now it's very pleasant, very very easy on the palate. Mm. I'm getting, um, like I said earlier, the, uh, the white pepper covering my entire tongue. Uh, through the retrohale, I'm getting that, that quintessential Nicaraguan... You love that word. ...cocoa taste... Uh, that I which word that I absolutely love in Nicaraguan tobacco, it's fantastic so far. Nice. Well, I'm smoking the Jaime Garcia Especial. Uh, boy, I feel like I want some either port or sambuca with it. Oh, yeah. definitely. Nice. Definitely. It has a really nice sweet finish. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, and and it doesn't have you know it's got a little hint of pepper, but yeah. not an awful lot. Uh, it's complex, it's rich, it's 
pretty good smoke. Wh I whenever I talk to consumers about that cigar, I always say to them a really basic thing. I, I say, this is a cigar, this is a Maduro for guys who want to smoke a Maduro yeah. cigar. Ah. It smokes like a really good yeah. Maduro. I know? like that. I can yeah. use that when I'm trying to sell. Okay, Everything like basic that. about a Maduro, like, or what you want from a Maduro, I should say, not basic. You know, it's got a chocolatey taste, it's got yeah. sweetness to it, and it's got body. And I think that that, for most people, if they if they know they like a Maduro cigar, that's really what they're looking for. Right. So I think it's just a great example mm. of Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro and, uh, you know, medium to full body. Nice. I'm smoking the, uh, the Papin Blue Label, which is the original cigar for the company. Uh, the cool thing about Blue Label is this is, ba this is actually the basis of everything we make. Wow. So literally every blend we make, whether it's as mild as our Connecticut or as full-bodied as something like Le Bijou, mm -hmm. they all genuinely start from the Blue Label blend. Yeah. Get out. Like, that is the cool. base for everything we make. Hmm. Interesting. Which I found really interesting because it's like, I don't know, I just never thought of it in that perspective that yeah. you start with one, you know, one base That's and then cool. right. kind of yeah. tweak it That's from there. Cool. That gives it like a signature. That's cool. Sure. Mm -hmm. So the TAA one that we carry is completely different. Completely different. And I love that one. This one is a little too much yeah. for me, but that TAA is just amazing. Well, that's yeah. what makes TAA cigars mm -hmm. so exclusive. Yeah. They're only available at 70 dealers throughout the country. And, you know, we're fortunate enough to be one of mm -hmm. them. The, the TAA... Don Pepe is, is probably one of the best TAA yes, cigars out there. Yes, it's, it's it is. And, and last year's, your, um, was that the Lancero? your Lancero yeah. was Oh, phenomenal. that sold out. Yeah. Boy, that went that fast. Was that did go fast. That went fast. I wish we had more boxes. Yeah, we all wish we had was That was a good one. Yeah, yeah those were delicious. Yeah. Um, but I, d I think the Blue Label from this year was the best one we've made, personally. Yeah, yeah that was a good cigar. I, I really did. I thought it was mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, really good. I smoked one at your guys' Westchester store two weeks ago. Oh. That cigar is dynamite. Mm -hmm. To and me, a, I think price, that has everything. Yeah, and the price was reasonable on that. Oh, that? yeah, it's only $10. For yeah. a limited cigar that yeah. you can only get at 70 retailers mm -hmm. nationwide? Yeah. yeah. 10 that's, bucks. That's a steal. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, what, is the, what does the Especial sell for? Oh, oh seven, that's seven, that's seven, seven, yeah, Ooh. yeah. And that's that, a nice it's price. right around eight yeah. bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah seven, depending seven, on which one you get. The, the yeah, six by sixty, I think, is still in the seven dollar range too. I believe. Right, right, I don't think, right, or maybe like eight, eight maybe eight. That's yeah, still right in the sweet spot. Yeah, it's right in the sweet spot. Nothing in the line touches ten dollars. No, um, it doesn't. Well, except for the lady shoe. Oh no, no, I meant in the high Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You'd have told me twenty years ago. That you know, seven, eight, nine dollars a cigars would be the sweet spot. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have. Played. But yet, when you really go back and you look at the the economics of it, cigars really just barely keep up with inflation. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still pretty good value they considering are. everything. I mean, you know, generally uh, people people's income have gone up dramatically in twenty years, and and the prices of cigars. I mean, even when we got started, a decent cigar was still four, five, six dollars, hey, seven dollars. I, I paid eight bucks last night for an IPA at a bar. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> it didn't last me two hours. Wow. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> it kind of, it, it's funny though. It's amazing how, how much the price of like craft beer has gone up compared to craft, you know, the, this is a craft industry. Like, yeah. What compared to, as you said, what, what cigars have increased by. Right. Mm -hmm. We've kind of, been a much more moderate climb. Eight dollars for a beer. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm embarrassed to say it, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay that much for a glass of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little more buzz off that too. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he 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 sipped it very slowly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I picture, Silly I picture man. that. <laughs> Pinky out. He doesn't know you too. He buys yeah. it. Yes. He buys it yes. like the three liter bottle. It's about this tall. <laughs> and he, he just he just Pops just, a straw just, the just end. like what do you call that stuff? White lightning. He just grabs the handle and <laughs> down the hatch. Am I yeah. far off? If I give up drinking for a week. Jack Daniels calls. I actually <laughs> did that. Are you okay? You're Is right. everything all right? I just want to make sure. <laughs> Sent you a couple keychains. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't buy the small bottles either. I actually yeah. did he that with a liter bottle, and let me tell you, that is not pretty at all. That burns, and you choke. <laughs> doesn't bother me in the least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> Great stuff. I was at, we were like 17 at my girlfriend's house, and she's like, my dad has booze. I'm like, okay, let's try it. And then I take it back, and I'm like, oh, my God, I got a birdie. I'm <laughs> Just to say I was sick for a couple days. Oh my <laughs> Probably why I don't like whiskey till yeah, this day. Not exactly the greatest sales <laughs> <laughs> perspective for Jack Daniels, right? 
<laughs> That's Jack awesome. Daniels. Jack Daniels is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll never go back to that. Lately, I've been drinking the Frank Sinatra edition of Jack. Oh, wow. What does that taste I've like? I've not seen that. God, dude. You get, first of all, if you get your hands on it, it's tough to get a hold of. But it is so smooth, and it's a little stronger than the regular Jack. Oh, wow. If I recall correctly, the company's about 15 years now? 16. 16 years, yeah. okay. Do I remember when yep. when he was here in 03, rolling cigars. He was working for another company at mm -hmm. that point. And uh, just, it's, it's a, why don't you tell a little of the story? Because it's an amazing success story. Yeah, it's, it's been a rapid growth for the company. Oh, um, my God, yes. As, as Art said, the company essentially started in 2003. Uh, at the time, Pepin j had just gotten here from Cuba. Um, both Jaime and, or uh, excuse me, uh, Jenny was actually the first one to come to the States. Mm -hmm. So she was, the, she was the original of the family to come over. Then Pepin and then eventually Jaime as well. But, I mean, as, uh, about as grassroots as you could be. Uh, yeah. You guys seen it firsthand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah. You know, private labels and yep. rolling at different stores and things like that. And then the company kind of just grew from there. Um, I'd say right around, I, I think that's why it comes in around 2004, 2005, yeah. if I remember that's correctly. That's about right. That's Pete started, yeah. And the, the growth really, really shot shot up from there. Uh, the Tatawahe caught fire. Pepin is the blender. Yep. Um, you know, him and Pete working together on those together. You know, Pete is a designer blender and, and oh, yeah. Pepin working yeah. with them. And that really catapulted the company forward. Um, and then, you know, a few years later, it basically, Jaime and Secret worked on the My Father blend for his dad, for mm -hmm. Pepin. Wow. Mm -hmm. And from there, we took the company and that became like the umbrella name for the company. My which father, was, yeah. You know, at at yeah. the time we were called El Rey de los Sabanos. I remember it, the original yeah, bill wow. said yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. And from there it's just really, I mean, I, I can remember when I came in the industry in 2006, the Nicaraguan, I, I mean there were Nicaraguan cigars before that obviously. Oh, yeah. You know, the Pepin Nicaraguan cigar, the Spice, the Blue mm -hmm. Label. That was unique. Yeah. It was unique yeah. at the time. And everybody was trying to figure out a way to kind of mimic that or, or compete with it or whatever you want to say. But um, the growth has been insane, you know. When did they start making San Cristobal de la Roma for Ashton? I think San Cristobal and La Roma were around 2010. Mm. Sounds about right. Um, okay. yeah. Nine, ten years, yeah. Because 2012 comes, you know, which really, again, was like totally changed the trajectory of the company. Flor de Las Antillas mm -hmm. gets Cigar of the Year. Right. Yeah. Hi, you said highest rating in cigar aficionado ever? Yeah. Well, actually, Le Bijou is. Oh, the Le Bijou. No, you got some tremendous, mm -hmm. I mean, tremendous ratings. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you guys are in the top 25. Yeah. And one or two, sometimes three cigars in the yeah. top 25. Yeah. 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 Like for the past couple of years, yeah. seven years. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Longer than seven years. And I, w I, would, I would say that. Yeah, along with some other companies, but there's always debate about number one, right? Yeah, yeah. Every year, I would say that 2012 and 2015 being Antillas and then Le Bijou for us, there wasn't much argument in the industry. Mm -mm. So we they didn't really get we a lot dynamite. of pushback that mm. those shouldn't have been. Right. Um, Antillas in particular, <coughs> that nobody argued with that. Mm -mm. That was everybody's number one. Right. That I year. love that cigar. The really cool a thing for us. A lot of people do as well. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. I love that cigar. We. We were able to handle the number one very well as a company. Um, the Antillas was the first cigar the company ever made 100% from our farms. Wow. So that's the other thing Papine does. Every Papine, Jaime, and Johnny do. Everything is reinvested in the company. So just, you know, we go back down there to Nicaragua in January, and I can't, I can't wait to see what else he's doing there. Mm -hmm. Every time we go, there's a new factory built. Wow. Or more land, or both. <laughs> like, yeah. or. All I know of a sudden it's an extensive have, operation. Yeah, I mean, well, or all of a sudden we have 500 head of cattle or something. It's just, <laughs> it's amazing the way that they expand this company. But we've uh, we've been very fortunate, and me in particular, I've been very fortunate to work for these guys. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you basically went from one, one of the largest companies in the field, General mm -hmm. Cigars, to, to working for basically a company that, when you joined them, was just really up to speed and sure. rolling along pretty good. Yeah, we were. We, we were uh, and in my five years, it's night and day where we were five years yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's quantum wow, leaps. Wow, it's been five years. Yeah, yeah. quantum leaps. Wow. Yeah. 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 
I'm curious, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but this may put you on the spot, <laughs> and I realize you're not an agrarian expert. The, the, the My Father cigars are well known for their spice. Sure. And if you can answer this, what causes that? Uh, you mm, know, that's I a think good question. Yeah. A Leave lot of me. that is just <laughs> climate and geography of Nicaragua. Okay. Like um, the soils and stuff? Yes. The volcanoes and everything. Yeah. yeah. And because remember, we, we even something like our, our Connecticut, our My Father Connecticut blend, which is our most mild blend, yeah. mild to medium. It's not. a mild plus because it, yeah, it gives you just enough to keep it very But that's so subjective. Yeah. yeah I mean, mm. yes. the strength of the cigar can have so many variants, yeah. even within the same person. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. it depends on, you know, what you've eaten, time of day. Right. right. What well, you're drinking. I also think drinking. part of it is, remember the, the blends that Papine worked on in Cuba? They were the traditional Cuban yeah. blends. Yeah. You know, the Monte mm. Cristo number two yep, in yep, Cuba. Yep. Uh, the, those, at that time period, were more more full body than they are now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, so that's where his palate is. You know, that's what his palate is. Right. Um, so I, I, he always says that he does not blend for strength. It's always blend for flavor profile. I like that. And Flavors, you know. That's how that's it the way should to do it. be. Yeah. That is the exact way that's to do it. That's how it they, should be. They hesitate to ever, obviously we have to say things are either mild, medium, full body, mm -hmm. whatever. But within our, internally, like he hates to tell us it's, this is full body. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's more or less. Full flavor is smoking. more. Yeah. You know, this is what I think you're going to get from this. This is what I want you to experience. Okay. But it's never, this is full body. We, you know, another amazing thing about my father, as with many other companies as well, the hardest thing is to deliver the product year after year tasting the same. Because mm -hmm. there's so many variants in, in, in how the crops go, you know, the watering, the sunlight. True, true. There's so many things that go into it. It always amazes me when I'm down at a farm or in, 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 in various countries, how they're able, and certain manufacturers really, really get it right. Mm -hmm. I won't go into other names, but, <laughs> but I'm always amazed how the cigar tastes the same. You smoke it one year and tastes the same the next year. Sure. I think a big, I, well, I mean, I think the biggest part of that is the fact that Papine and Jaime are not they're not figureheads of the company, you know. No, no, they're hands they're on. They're working every yeah. day. Oh, they're hands on for know? sure. Oh my lord, yes. So that that part of it, that's their love. That's their passion. Yeah. They are up early every day, and you know that's what they do every single day. You know, the mm -hmm. few, the very few times that they're out of Nicaragua during the year, they're not ever fully not out of like out of Nicaragua. Like, right. They're always partially yeah, that, there. That's what I was going to say. You know, when I go to the shows, and, you know, especially down mm -hmm. in. Uh, in the uh, Dominican Republic, where we have our TAA trade show, it always looks like sure. that that you know, Papine and his son would rather be back <laughs> on the farm. Yeah, and it's it, it's pretty amazing. There's a story that was before my time with the company that there was some flooding in Nicaragua one year, and mm -hmm. they were out doing events. And this is probably six or seven years ago. It wasn't that long before I started. Uh, so the company was already growing at that point we were right. very well established and that like kind of that killed them uh. that they weren't there to like you know figure out how to divert water things like that right. like, just very right. you know hands-on things that really bothered them that wow. they weren't there for that yeah. it's still talked about I mean wow. we didn't lose our crop we and they still talk about it that still bothers them and he's got uh, he's got an amazing memory Mm. Because, oh my God, yeah. because <laughs> when, when I, I think it was, I think it was about three years ago when I saw him at, at the uh, the big trade show. I mean, he actually remembered when he was in here rolling those cigars and for another company at the time. When he, he actually remembered when that. you and I were talking in the booth, you yeah. you, you said to me, "I don't think he's going to remember." No, he's not yeah. going yeah. to remember. And yeah. sure enough, I didn't he have did. to prompt him whatsoever. He I was exactly shocked. It kind, of, it kind of blew me away. Yeah. I was very shocked. <laughs> well, you're special, Art. Oh, I there remember. you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What? Everybody remembers Art. Hey, bucking for sergeant. <laughs> 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 Final impressions? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Well, I didn't really power hit it like I should have, but that takes away from the enjoyment. Um, but it is picking up a little bit, but I would not call this full body at all. Mm -hmm. Like it says, this is a straight medium to me. And it's just very pleasant, it's earthy, and you do the retro hell, it's a little nutty, creamy, um, 
great construction. I love the JJ series. This, we don't carry it, but you can get it in the gift set, okay? The JJ series is a great cigar. So I'm going to give mine, I'm going to give this a 9.5. Oh, wow. I like that. That's impressive. <sighs> Moose? I'm starting to get a little bit of the spice, a little bit of a uh, white pepper. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. It's just making it in interesting enough. Okay. Um, echo what uh, Tia said. Very well constructed cigar. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I usually I usually in inhale these things, <laughs> and then you're like I'm almost at a nub, <laughs> and everybody else is like halfway yeah. through it. Well, I'm guessing it's better to inhale than eat them. <laughs> yes, this is very true. <laughs> um, it's a great cigar, and I give it a nine five to. Wow. Wow. We're all smoking different ones, too. Yeah, we're right? all smoking yeah. different mm -hmm. cigars. Yeah. Um, this cigar has got taken on a, like a buttery, silky taste uh, mm -hmm. in the in through my mouth, the mouth feel. Uh, I still get the um, the cocoa taste through the retro hail, which is really good, and the pepper is still there. Um, not as much, but it's still there. Coach the coach the it entire. It should back palette. off a little. Yeah. 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 Um, this is a fantastic cigar. This is probably the best. Centurion I've ever had. Wow. I don't know if it's because it's a different size or a different whatever. You it's got some age on it. No. Um, it's fantastic. <laughs> I give it a 9.5 too. Oh, I nice. think it's great. Good lord. Wow. Your I'm not turns. sure we've ever had such consistency with different cigars. Yeah, different. I know. Different cigars. Different cigars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's seven. amazing. What you got? I mean, I love this cigar. I don't know why I don't smoke it more often. And you're smoking them. I love a good Maduro. Oh, man, I go gaga over a good Maduro. It's, uh, here I am well into it. I'm not power hitting it either, mm -hmm. but the sweetness is still there on the finish. It's got a lot of smoke, burning evenly. I mean, I can't disagree with anything that's been said here. I give it a, I, I, if I weren't so embarrassed, I'd maybe go a little <laughs> higher. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll hang in there with a, with a 9.5 as uh, well. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's smoking the Jaime Garcia. I'm sure. smoking the Jaime Garcia Especial, which is nicely priced. Wow. Now I, you can't rate yours, but you, you, you can up. talk about it. I, I gave mine an 11 again. <laughs> 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 You're off the Richter scale. <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 in our you know final minutes here, uh, anything new coming out? Anything you can talk about? Or uh, you know, it's really funny. Our company as a whole, we really play things close to the vest. I know. Boy, do I know that. Uh, I'll be in Nicaragua in January next month, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to find out some things. Okay. As of right now, I honestly wish I could say I had something else for you guys, but I have no information right now That's as far okay. as what's coming. They really wait until then. We don't even get little leaks of information. Wow, I like that it's though. Yeah, it's, a <laughs> it's very surprising. Okay, that's a good answer. That's fair enough, because I know no. your company. I, I, that doesn't <laughs> shock me at all. As we come to the waning seconds, I just want to remind everybody, especially this time of year, to support your local brick-and-mortar retailer that gives you allowance to hang in and have a good time, schmooze with your buddies, Doesn't smoke, coffee, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and until next week, we want to thank you, remind you to watch... Come down and grab these gift packs. Smoke them if you got Ciao for now, everybody. Bye-bye oh, for now. Man,